Today's January 10th, 2019, episode 9 of Plane Savers. Good morning, folks. It is 8.30 in the morning, minus 30, Yellowknife, and I just got word that the C-46 is about to take off, so I'm just getting in a position with my truck to uh, film it for you guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this, ta uh, this wake up call uh, from the C-46. Sorry it's dark folks, but um, here I'll do my best to capture it. Uh, uh, maybe just close your eyes and listen to this. There is nothing, nothing in the world more cooler than that. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Welcome to Plane Savers. Hey folks, I'm back in the office here. I was just checking my emails and I've seen that Benoit, uh, the previous owner of DTD, our D-Day bird, uh, is moving our DC3 today in St. Hubert. And uh, he put a Facebook Live video. It looks really cold. Uh, and I'll show you guys that now. Hello, we are at uh, Saint Hubert Airport. Uh, it's quite windy. Uh, I don't know if the sound is very good, uh, but uh, we are going to move the DC3. Uh, we are waiting uh, for another truck because uh, right now the one we have not okay because there is a lot of snow. Uh, we have another problem with uh, sandbags uh, which are tying down the aircraft, which are right now totally frozen, as you can see. Okay, Dad, what, what are you thinking uh, about this whole uh, saving this DC-3 so far? It's got to be saved. I mean, it, and we're the ones that can do it. It's almost uh, like given as part of what we do. It's, we don't let see airplanes like that uh, become beer cans. So <laughs> our choice is either save or not be beer cans and see we don't drink beer, we won't save the airplane. What challenges do you see we have moving forward in the, to the next couple months? Well, the challenge is we, we have the, the parts and know-how. we got Ronnie there that can put it together. We're going to run out of manpower. What, what kind of skills are needed? Well, people that can help uh, build up the engines, install them, run them. Some pretty good electricians. We're going to put the, uh, all the radios and instruments and electronics back in the airplane. Just a good all-around mechanic is that's familiar with the DC-3, our DC-3 type airplane, that vintage. Whether you worked on 3s or 4s or 46s or cancels, that's the man we need are a couple of them. Uh, what kind of stuff would you like, you would need to see uh, to prove that that airplane would be ready to fly June 6th? Oh, well, what they do, and we've done it before, like uh, like Ryan's always taking the airplane, he's had it in his total focus for the last few days of it, and he, on doing the test and runs and the test systems. And he'll test all the, the systems and all the, the engines and propellers and the fuel systems and the electrical systems, and when he says he's ready to go, it's just a matter of a guy like myself straps myself in the seat and we're airborne. We've done more than 20, I know it, you know. I uh, think back over the years we've been doing this. Over 40 years we've been doing this, you know. Maybe 50 years. <laughs> uh, what, what do you got to do, what are you going on this afternoon? Well, in Canada here we do a, a proficiency check flight uh, with all pilots every six months. And my six months are due and I'm just like everybody else, I have to go and prove that I can uh, still stay within the parameters of the, what's, what's required by licensing. And I'll uh, go out today and uh, renew my license. We renewed for a year, which will take in the, uh, the coming June 6th flight. So today, um, that same license will be what lifts us off the ground with DTB there. DTD. DDD. There's too many, eh? <laughs> DDD. DTT. DTT now is outlawed. Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna run outside. Uh, Joe's gonna jump in the DC3 and uh, do a do a quick uh, ride. Well, I'm gonna get you a cold weather start. Uh, you saw my truck do a cold weather start. Let's see what happens when you start a DC3 at minus 30. Yeah, laying out there now, get a quick picture of de deflocking all the covers off it. That's an order. Thank you. few episodes ago I showed you my uh, vehicle being plugged in at night 
Airplanes the same way, a little bit more difficult, but if done properly, this startup should go really well. Okay, so I'm just, it's the end of the day, uh, just finishing up editing. I want to get out of here at a decent time. Uh, it's just showing Rod. Uh, Dad, how did the, the check ride go? Oh, well, the check ride went, uh, went fine. So you're good for G June 6th? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the airplane, I'll be the same age. <laughs> so Rod, how are you liking the series so far? Well, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm always wondering what you're doing, so now I know. <laughs> now what do you think? Uh, what do you guys think of the the plane savers uh, thing is up to six hundred dollars now six hundred dollars on uh ebay holy smokes six hundred bucks it's pretty cool though so rod uh, everyone's liking the mr rod series uh if you have a question for rod uh, let me know in the comments uh, maybe we can do an episode on something. We'll let the, the people decide. I just want to give a shout out to the Logan family in Australia. I know the father Daniel's working hard at Westwind. The two boys are watching every night. A uh, big shout out to Sam, who one day wants to own a DC-3. Uh, the number one thing I should say is never grow up. <laughs> and you, you may find yourself in aviation. Cheers.